Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. In the previous session, we have seen a brief overview on a post API with an example on a Zira. In continuation with that, what I want to do means instead of hard coding the data within a request directly here, I want to read that information from a CSV file. Okay, I will create a CSV file in which I just want to maintain this complete information. So what I am doing for this scenario is I'm copying this feature scenario and I'm placing it here and I'm naming it as a basic auth one. And here, whatever the data you are passing here in this, I want to pass it in a CSV file itself. So in order to pass the data from a CSV file, the first step that I'm doing is then I'm converting it into a scenario outline. And here, I'm maintaining my examples here. These are examples, as we know that we need to pass from a CSV file. So here we need to pass on the CSV file information here. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to do right now means, let me go to the project location here. And I do have a couple of CSV files. Let me navigate to this folder and I want to create a one more CSV file at this location itself. So whatever the content you have in a book one, right click, copy this content and I'm pasting this content here. I'm renaming this file as an book4.csv. Let me open this a big four file. And for this CSV file, the data that we need to pass on is the email address. Okay, email address is the first input that you need to pass on. The display name and a name. So here, let me delete the data, whatever we have in this particular file. And I'm defining email address as a field that I'm passing it out over here. Address. And the next one is a display name, display name. And the last one I'm giving it as a name. And here the display name or the email address that I want to give for the first user is surin at the rate levy.com. Sarosh at the rate levy.com. Sam at the rate levy.com. That's it. So I want to create these three different accounts, basically using the post. I just want to create three different entries out over there. So what I'm going to do right now, the display name, Surendra Jagannatham Surin, Sarosh Lebian Sarosh, Samuel, yes, Sam. That's it. I have inserted my data, save this file. I just saved my file. Let me close this a CSV file, whatever I have created. Okay, perfect. The CSV file got created. And let me refresh the project so that I can see the CSV file here. Now the data is in a CSV file. In order to read the data, I know that read and the file name is book for a dot csv file and as we have already studied in order to read the data precisely from a particular file so here this field should be mapped with that particular field so let me open my csv file once to cross check the names whatever we have a given so this is what the email address we have a given here so i'm just replacing here with this email address the second field is a display name copy the name of this field, come back, and instead of this one, just replace it here with this symbol. And the third one that I wanna do is a name. Again, copy the name and update it here. So the reason why I'm just a copy pasting here is, you know, I don't want to take any issues out over there. Usually, uh, you know, if at all we are typing, there might be some case sensitivity and we will be getting different sets of issues. That's the reason I preferred copy paste is the best option and I'm just doing the same thing. 
and before that what i am going to do right now means i am opening my zira api or the zira account directly where in which in the zira account i just want to cross check the user management before executing my endpoint itself so in the administration before executing my scripts let us see how many users are there and after the execution how many users are there we have a 12 users are there okay perfect let me copy this the tag name let me come back to the runner class update the tag name and then let me try to run the test script and observe the console here what's happening in the console okay let it execute and see okay console it's been executing so it's trying to perform this operation on the application see here suren at the libby.com surendra jagannatha name suren so the process has initiated and it's trying to perform this operation okay so the three scenarios were executed and three were passed so if you observe in a csv file i have a three sets of data that's the reason the script got executed for three different times earlier it was a 12 users whenever i have a refresh to that information the administrator user stream now it populated to 15 users so here the sam at the rate libby.com sarosh at the rate libby.com surendra at the rate libby.com all the users were created this is the way how exactly we can okay this is the way how exactly we can use the post the complete information required for the post from an csv file